always making the news i tell you but this has got a twist because you know we still we still gonna be pointing out the good mamas y'all good mamas abound y'all it's so this this i just heard about honestly because like i said i don't watch the news i just get on youtube but it is suspect wanted in row home fire bombing near temple university now in custody so listen Temple is a very prestigious school. It's a very popular school. It's one of the largest schools here in Philadelphia. Um, in Pennsylvania as a whole, lots of schools. Villanova. Um, I don't know. They got a lot of schools. Temple is where Bill Cosby went and he touted it. Blah, blah, blah. It is in the actual city. It's in the worst parts of Dagon City. Okay. I don't know how they even go there. Shout out to those people. But now we got... A, a fire bomber in the city, but he's been caught. Now it's for a man wanted for fire bombing. A North Philadelphia row home is now off the streets. Surveillance video captured the frightening crime on North Cleveland Street back on November 15th. A group of students was living there at the time. Today, authorities were able to take the suspect into custody. Thursday afternoon, I'm Sarah Bloomquist. And I'm Rick Williams, in for Brian. And the big story on Action News this afternoon is the arrest of the firebombing suspect in North Philadelphia. Police say he's facing charges for other crimes as well. Action News reporter John Paul. Oh, what a surprise. He's facing other crimes. He done done something else. Is that a surprise? No, I don't think so. Spoke with the suspect's mother today. He has the update now from North Philadelphia. John. Yes, sir, Rick. So that arrest was made this morning about two weeks after the fire bombing, which happened in some off campus housing about five blocks in that direction. And today I talked to the suspect's mother about what happened. The video is frightening. November 15th, the man lights something on fire, <laughs> breaks the window of a home on North Cleveland Street and then throws it inside. We've all kind of been living on edge about it. She was glad when we told her there was an arrest. 35 year old Kyle Halls was child mm, mm, mm. Ooh, child what <laughs> oh you negroes i'm sorry i gotta call it it's just too much it's too many it's it's all over the place it's no rhyme or reason the whole damn city in my opinion this ain't even a kid this time this ain't even a kid this is a grown-ass man calmly just breaking the window and just tossing in some fire here you go and walking away like what in in temple's area in the in, in the temple area not a big deal just came out of the house next door all right i'm out okay rough life he look a little bit like r kelly but but these these things write themselves because divestors will take this and then the they case gets proven every damn day and it's like what the hell are we doing what what is going on this is this is the best we got to go this is the best we got okay all right come out of the house next door break the glass to the house next door toss in some fire and i'm out who thought this through like what did you make it in the house next door i'm so confused i just i can't taken into custody this morning. In a criminal complaint, the ATF claimed Halls broke a window before lighting a bottle of gasoline on fire and tossing it inside. I was kind of taken aback when they told me that he did a Molotov cocktail. We talked to his mother today. Halls called. All right, here is mama. Here, mama. Even though I don't know why mama got to speak. No offense. The man is 35, I believe. Why we gotta talk about him, okay? But let's look at mama, okay? Cause you know, I always looking, I be looking, this is nice. She got a nice setup, nice hardwood floors, nice and shiny, you know, fake fireplace, all her pictures up, nice table, okay? She got a decent living going on here. This ain't the hood, this ain't the ghetto, none of it, all right? All right? Mama. I, mama actually look good too. Mama look like she my age, okay? Mama, what are we doing? Why are we getting involved? Why are we coming out? Why are we showing our face? Be away from all this. Let him take his licks. I, I'm not blaming mama. 
Okay? I'm just wondering why mama out here still sounding like a son husband. That's how I look at it. Now, from that perspective, I'm like, mama, come on. Come on. I wouldn't be talking to no damn body. Not a person. Okay? Mama don't look that bad. Mama got a ring on. What's going on, mama? What are we doing? What are we doing? You need to be saying, lock his punk ass up. Because someone could be in dire straits as that was in that building. Then if it's a fire, it could spread to other people. People would sleep. Obviously, it's illegal. What was the point? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? What's his name? Halls. Why would you do this, Halls? I don't know his name. Nug Nug. Why would you do this? That's what I be saying. I be like, I don't know what his problem is, but we didn't raise him that way. Throw the book at his ass. If it, if I wouldn't say anything, honestly. But what we're not going to be doing is making excuses, especially when we're living like that. Okay. Come on now. It seems like he probably, you know, was brought up decently. Okay. Assuming based off of what we see. Okay. But let's see what else you got to say. Come on, mama. His mother today, Halls called her from jail this morning. Halls called her from jail. So why ain't Halls called like his girlfriend, his wife or anything like that? Oh, he just got his mama. Oh, okay. Gotcha. She was left devastated. He's not a hardened criminal. He has serious mental health issues. Oh, hell no. I know you. <laughs> I know you effing lying. I know you effing lying. Come on. Come on, mama. Come on, good mama. What's up? He has serious mental health issues. I told y'all mental health is going to be used. It's going to be COVID mental health forever. COVID and mental health for the win, y'all. I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. She is making excuses for this crime where we are lucky and should be thankful that no one was hurt physically. We ain't talking about mentally. We talking about physically. He's not a hardened criminal, mama says. He's got mental issues at 35. So what's the plan, mama? What, what, what is going on? But he certainly knew to call you. Even with his mental problems, he knew who to call for his one phone call. Am I lying? They said that's who he called. Mama, come on now. Not a hardened criminal. He has serious mental health issues. And I've been going through this for years. Valerie Piner says that Halls has been battling mental health problems for years and she's tried to get him help, but she says he's never done something like this. He has schizophrenia. He has um, depression. He's been, um, you know, not himself. She was relieved to know that everyone made it out of the home and had this to say to the people affected. My apologies to the family or the persons who had to endure this incredible devastation of their home being destroyed. Did she think that this was supposed to help? I know I'm, I'm, I'm masculine, got a small penis, unempathetic, unsympathetic, but did she think this was supposed to help? And like BLJ is saying, did he, um, did he have mental issues 20 years ago? Um, yeah, that's what I want to know too. When did he develop it at the age of 35, 34? When did he get it? Why? You know, I know people will say it's hard to get help for people with mental issues. I know. I know. I don't, I don't know y'all. I don't know. I, I don't know anything. So thankfully I don't know anything about it. But I do know that when my children were younger, I had health insurance and there was plenty of options on the health insurance side. Now, mind you, you may have to pay for some additional items and things, but the, it was there for you. And given how it looks like she lives, I'm going to assume she had health insurance. I'm going to assume, and I don't know, my assumption, my two cents, that he just didn't develop this in the last couple of years. She says she'd been dealing with it. So I would assume she was dealing with it when he was younger. 
So we're just going to sit around. This is no different, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to say this. The 10-year-old. When the 10-year-old was, was flipping the dog around by the tail, that's a problem. What else did he do? He did something else when he was younger. I forget what it was. But it's clear that he needed to be someplace. He needed to be, be someplace. And, and people for that story are saying, you know, she did the best she could. She thought she, what she was doing was right. That's fine. I'm sorry for her loss because of it. But I'm not going to live scared in my own home with a child that I am raising. I'm not. I'm not going to put cameras in for what? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I got it. I'm masculine. I got it. I, I'm going to work hard every day to come home and be scared of a 10-year-old, a 6-year-old, a 5-year-old. That don't even sound right to me. Oh, oh, we got a problem? Oh, yeah. We got to get you some help. Doc, where are we going to put him at? I come visit. Put him in a home, a facility, something. Is that crazy? You know me. That's crazy talk. It's crazy talk. Can't do that. You can't do that to little little black children. We don't we don't believe in in mental health issues until there's an issue, and then all of a sudden, oh, it's mental health. Oh, he got mental health. He got is he diagnosed already? And if that's the case, where does he live? Who is he with? And what's going on? Because if he's out here free living in the world, that's fine. Then then I'm not commenting. There's nothing for me to say. Nothing for me to say. But I'm assuming he's not. That's why he called his mama. This is all conjecture. I don't know. I'm just going by what they got here. By what she's saying. By her thoughts. She making excuses. I'm sorry that I'm glad nobody got hurt. I'm sorry this happened to y'all. <laughs> okay. So we got to wait until something, God forbid, happens that is deadly to someone for people to start taking stuff seriously. And then we still going to go with the... um. Mental health and COVID, mental health and COVID, COVID and mental health. Mm, mm, mm. Ferris said, I heard that you get diagnosed in your 20s. I don't know. Also says that schizophrenia is a genetic mental illness. So I said, I'm assuming that means like hereditary. That's, that's, sorry to hear that. I don't know anything about it. I don't, but he knew he was, he knew enough to know how to make a Molotov cocktail. I don't know how to do that. I'm sure I could find it on YouTube, but I don't have a need for that. I'm not going to do that. So with all the mental illness, with all the schizophrenia, with all the everything else, he certainly knew how to get online and make, I'm assuming he knew how to make a, um, a firebomb. Let's call it what it is. Firebomb. He knew how to do that. But now all of a sudden we're supposed to say, oh, oh, poor thing. He got mental illness. He got um, whatever. What is it? Schizophrenia, mental illness, blah, 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 blah. Selma, our resident medical professional here. It is not hard. That's not true. People do not seek. Seek it. It's offered readily in the hospitals and by the pediatricians. Parents don't want to commit their babies. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. That that woman with the 10 year old, you can't tell me ain't no damn options and solutions or something. We as black people hold ourselves back and down on. I won't say on purpose, but we do that because we don't want to acknowledge it and we don't want to go ahead and say this is what it is until something like this happens. And now she's like, oh, oh, schizophrenia, mental illness. I'm not blaming mom right now. I'm not. I'm just saying you're making excuses for a heinous crime. It is a crime and we should be thankful or you and he should be thankful that no one was deleted in that situation, but it is a serious situation. But the way that she's responded would lead me to believe this is probably the way that she responded for a lot of things that that man did. That young man did not young. That dude did when he was younger is what I'm trying to say. A skate said it definitely wasn't hard for me to get help for my son young son who has ADHD. It's been mostly video visits that lasted 20 to 30 minutes. BLJ say it wasn't hard for me either. And I have combat PTSD. <sighs> yeah. 
I agree. Damien, um, Damien Ken. I agree. That's the son husband syndrome. That's the son hus husband syndrome. And then when he does something heinous like this, you still basically going to take up for him. That's what I'm hearing. No, we don't want to point out when people do wrong. Listen, this woman is my age or older, right? Her son is 32, 35, whatever his age is. And she's still making excuses for him. You have the lady, whoever was how old she was with her 10 year old, who basically was Damien the Omen Jr. And she was making excuses for him. Do we not see that there is a problem, Houston? We don't want to acknowledge what it is because of what it looked like. They ain't got nothing to do with white supremacy, racism, slavery, nor discrimination. That has to do with the fact that black people don't want to acknowledge what's wrong and would rather cover it up. And then until something happens, unfortunately, is when it's like, but this, but that, but this, but that. Instead of doing something in advance of something happening to make sure that nothing happens to the innocent, whether it's a stranger or it's someone else in our family. And don't want to talk about it for shit. Selma said my friend's son was hearing voices for years. Oh, that's what was going. Thank you for saying that. That's what that little boy was saying. Remember, he had three girls talking to him in his head. That 10 year old. Child, those were only the three women. He also had others. He had like five voices in his head. Um. She said, uh, I pleaded with her to have him committed for help. She won't. She felt guilty. He seriously injured her when he turned 18. Now she has him locked up. She feels guilty. Why, why do we feel guilty for something that is not our fault? What's our fault is when we don't acknowledge it and then something happens. That's when it's your fault. Sorry. Thank you for sharing the story, Soma. That's crazy. That's crazy. Kelvin says schizophrenia tends to run in families, but no single gene is thought to be responsible. It's more likely that different combinations of genes make people more vulnerable, vulnerable to the condition. Mm, mm, mm. Sheesh. Another part of parenting though, y'all, this is another part of parenting that people don't think of. You just think your kid going to come out all normal. Nothing's going to be wrong. God forbid we don't want it to be. Of course, we don't. We want everyone to be 10 toes, 10 fingers and healthy, okay? But there are people who have children and they have issues and problems and you don't, people don't think that far ahead. Whether it's schizophrenia or any mental illness, for real, for real, or a physical disability or whatever, and don't think about what needs to be done if something should come up in order to care for that for future. And then we, then we will just be like, eh, and then go have another one. Ooh, child, while waiting around for the thousand a month or the 850 a month for two years, and then it gets pulled from underneath of you. And then you in a worse situation than you were to begin with. Like, seriously, for those people that are getting those programs, they are persons who are poverty level. Okay. For the most part, I don't know about the thousand, um, in California or San Francisco. I don't know. But the odds are they're not making six figures. Okay. So you get this money and you get used to it and you don't change your situation. You're getting no type of direction. Why do we think that's going to work? And we are falling for it. And I include myself because I'm a black woman. We are falling for it. Don't see it. It get, get the Charlie Brown and Lucy with the football situation and then turn around and blame white supremacy and take no responsibility for the fact that because it was free, you think it's good for you. Everything for you just because it's free ain't good for you. 